Chapter 3 System Software In this chapter, you will learn system software which makes your computer run smoothly and securely. The objectives of this chapter are Recognize the purpose and functions of operating systems. Use desktop operating systems. Compare specialized operating systems. Explain the importance of file management. Recognize and work with file types. Use advanced search options to locate files and to share files. System software. This controls the computer's hardware and its peripheral devices. The operating system, which is also known as OS, and system utilities are the components of the system software. The job of the operating system is to manage the system resources and provide an interface for you to communicate with the hardware and other software. Computers must have operating systems in order to function, and even mobile devices such as smartphones have operating systems. Utility software. This can be included with the OS or purchased from another company. The utility software enables you to maintain, repair, and protect the computer. You will have the most contact with the user interface of the system software because you use it to interact with the computer. Most computers today have a graphical user interface, GUI. To use a GUI, you point and click on graphical icons and buttons. Early computer systems used a command line interface in which the user typed commands to control the computer. Windows 10, shown here, is the most um, recent. Well, we also have another one. This was in 2023. The start menu is located in the central location where tiles and gives you access to programs, files, and settings in the computer. Recognize the purpose and functions of the operating system. You get an idea of how it works by viewing the print buffer after sending multiple documents to the printer. The documents are placed in a buffer, waiting until the spooling program indicates a pointer or printer is available to print the document. To see the print queue or line of documents waiting to be printed, Type print on the Windows Start screen. Click Settings and then click View Devices and Printers. Click the default printer and then click See what's printing on the menu bar. As documents are spooled off to the printer, the status is reported at the bottom of the window. RAM is extended by the operating system using virtual memory, which uses the computer's hard drive as well as RAM. Program instructions and data are divided into pages that can be stored on the hard disk drive as a swap file or paging file. These temporary storage locations are managed by the OS and the process is handled without your intervention. The process is known as paging. When you boot or start your computer, the operating system goes through a process to detect all the devices connected to your computer. The operating system establishes communication with each device. Devices can include the monitor, speakers, keyboard, mouse, multimedia devices, printers, and much more. You can view the devices connected to your computer on the Devices and Printers control panel as shown here. Plug and Play, or PMP, enables you to easily add new hardware to your computer by automatically setting it up to communicate with the computer. Device drivers are used as a translator that enables the computer and device to communicate. Device drivers can be added to your system, making it easy to upgrade to new devices. If a device driver is not available on the computer, Windows will prompt you with a message, an attempt to help you find the driver. Often, a manufacturer's disk accompanying the new device contains the driver, or you can download 
download it for free from the internet. Really, the system cannot boot normally due to a problem with the device driver. Windows can be booted in safe mode, which enables Windows to start without most device drivers. You would not want to use the computer on a daily basis in this mode. But it is very helpful to troubleshoot problems in the system. Firmware. Firmware is software stored on the flash ROM, R-O-M chip. This read-only memory is built into devices to provide instructions on how the device communicates with other computer hardware. While a little more difficult to update, it can be flashed or updated to enable the device to work with a new operating system or to make it work more effectively. The BIOS or basic input output system on a computer is a form of firmware. The application programming interface or API provides for communication between the operating system and the software enabling the allocation of resources needed to run the application. Common APIs are file saving or print requests. Desktop operating systems run on personal computers. There are many different types of desktop operating systems, but the leaders in the industry are Microsoft Windows, Mac OS X, and Linux. The current version of Microsoft Windows, which replaced the start screen with a start menu and added Cortana, an AI search tool, and personal attendant. Microsoft Windows also features virtual desktops that allow you to create different desktops for different projects or tasks, and to easily switch between them. The Mac OS X is the operating system used by the Apple Macintosh computer. Now, one of the versions of Mac OS X is 10.11. This version updated the user interface, improved some applications, and enhanced overall performance. An earlier operating system, Unix, features a command line interface and multitasking. It is installed primarily on workstations and services. Linux was designed to be similar to Unix. Linux is unique because it is an open source operating system with the code available to anyone who would like to develop Linux distributions with various features. Distributions or distros include the OS, various utilities and software applications. Ubuntu, is a popular distro now. The operating system you use depends on the hardware you have. It is important to update the operating system to ensure the best features and security. Devices running embedded operating systems are all around us. You may have a GPS navigation system or a video game console, or you may use an ATM, all of which feature embedded operating systems. Embedded operating systems are specialized software meant only to manage the resources of the specific device for which they were written. Mobile devices such as smartphones and tablets run mobile operating systems which provide touchscreen support, email and browsers. The Windows Phone mobile operating system is found on many smartphones. The iPhone, iPad, and iPod touch use a scaled down version of OS X called iOS. Android devices use an embedded version of Linux. Shown here is the interface for an Android phone with app icons, notifications, and an apps menu. The BlackBerry OS runs on BlackBerry smartphones. Networks have special operating systems called a Network Operating System, or NOS in OS, to manage a multi-user environment. The system provides centralized resources, storage, and security. In a client-server network, the clients are the workstations, or PCs connected to the server. 
The server runs a NOS and enables the clients to communicate with the server and each other. By centralizing the resources and security, it is easier and more efficient to provide services. Your home network is likely to be part of a peer-to-peer -peer network, which does not require a network operating system. In this type of network, each computer is considered equal and they share resources with the other computers on the network using features built into the operating system. File management refers to opening, closing, saving, naming, deleting, and organizing your data files. The Windows file system is a hierarchy. A file is a collection of information such as a Word document, Excel workbook that is saved with a single name. A folder and subfolders organize your files. For instance, you may have a folder for your DUT coursework with subfolders for each subject. Windows automatically creates a user folder for each username on the system and places subfolders in the folder. As you navigate through the file structure, Path defines the sequence of folders you have opened. File Explorer in Windows shows the path at the top of the window. File Explorer can be used to open, rename, delete, copy, and organize your files and folders. A search utility enables you to search the file structure to find files. You can search by name, date, and file size. Similar to Windows, OX has Finder to enable you to manage your files. A home folder is created for each user. Subfolders are created in the home folder to store documents, downloads, movies, music, and pictures. Spotlight is the search utility in OS X. It is important to note that mobile devices were not meant to store large amounts of data and usually employ cloud storage to organize and access your files. There are two types of files on a computer. One type, including programs and device drivers, is used by the computer to function. The second type of file is one you create, including documents, pictures, music, and much more. The file location, name, and file extension should tell you which type of file it is. File names have two parts, the actual name of the file, and the file extension, which identifies the type of file it is. The file name can be 260 characters long in Windows, including the extension and the path to the file. You can use special spaces and characters such as underlines and hyphens in file names. In OS X, the file name can be up to 255 characters. File extensions are separated from the file name by a full stop or a period. Default program associations help files to open the correct application when you double click them in File Explorer. Shown here are some common extensions and the program association in Windows. File properties provide information about a selected file in File Explorer when the Details pane is displayed. These properties can be used to organize, sort, and find the files more easily. Some properties are automatically created, while others can be added by the user. You can also view the file properties in OS X using Finder and get information from the file menu. Some files in your computer can be very large, taking up valuable storage space. File compression enables you to make the files smaller and helps you to transfer the files between the computers more quickly. Lossless compression 
used for files that contain text or numbers, compresses with no loss of data. Zip files use lossless compression. Lossy compression, used for images and audio and video files, removes extra information from the file. Most people cannot see or hear the differences in the files. TIFF or BMP format images are uncompressed, while JPEG or JPG files are compressed using lossy compression. Your intended use for the image determines whether compression should be used. For a high quality print, such as a professional photographer, a display uncompressed images are needed. But for a web page, the speed at which a photograph renders is important. So a compressed image is used. Files contain properties that can be used to organize and find them. Windows includes a search box on the task bar in every control panel and in the file explorer windows. Windows maintains an index that contains information about the files located on the computer that makes searching for files very fast. The OS X has a powerful search tool called Spotlight. Spotlight searches applications, files, folders, contacts, and other objects on your computer. When collaborating with others, it is important to have an easy, secure way to share and transfer files. Cloud storage enables you to save files so they are accessible from different places and devices. iCloud for OS X and iOS devices automatically syncs your personal files to the cloud. iCloud includes 5 gigabytes of free storage. It is important to know that iCloud handles for photographs differently from other files, only uploading and storing the last 30 days of photos. You cannot access these on the iCloud website. Sorry, you can. Microsoft's OneDrive enables you to store data for free in the cloud. You can save directly from Office 2016 applications to your OneDrive if you are signed into your Microsoft account. Integrated web apps in OneDrive makes it easy to create and modify documents from a variety of devices. Google Drive is a free service that includes cloud storage and web apps to store, work with, and share files. Other popular storage services include Dropbox, A Drive, Box Media Fire, and Amazon Cloud. In this chapter, you learned that the operating system manages interactions between the user and applications, software, and the hardware of the computer. Utility software helps you to maintain and back up your computer. File management is opening, naming, deleting, and organizing files. The file name and other properties provide information about the file type and the contents of the file, making it easier to locate and manage files. I hope you like it. Thank you.